Hi, I'm Lisa Sorensen and this is the Maximal Minute. Today I'm going to take a moment to talk about some of the out-of-the-box functionality that will help take you to the next stage in planned versus reactive maintenance. You may already be using continuous meters to trigger PMs to generate your work orders, but have you started accessing the benefits of your gauge and continuous meters to trigger work as well? Condition monitoring points will give you that same functionality to trigger a work order based on the results of readings returned from your manual meter readings, inspections, or automated readings from an external system such as PI. Let's look at a pump with a gauge meter of outlet pressure. You can see that this pump also has a continuous meter for running hours. A planned maintenance action can be generated based on a predictable state or the number of hours that the pump has been running using the meter in preventive maintenance. However, perhaps you would like to trigger a tech to take a look at the pump when the pressure climbs too high or drops too low before the pump or some associated equipment up or downstream actually fails. By taking advantage of the monitoring points, you can have Maximo generate a work order or trigger a preventive maintenance cycle. Let's jump over to the monitoring point to take a look. Here you can see that this is the outlet pressure for our pump. This is a one-to-one -one relationship from meter to point, but we can have a different job or PM triggered based on whether we are hitting our upper limit or our lower limit. You will want to determine what the range of acceptable pressure readings are for each pump and determine whether there is a band of readings that you would want to report on to an engineering group or something. That range can be reflected in the upper and lower warning limits. These do not trigger anything and are reportable values only. The upper and lower action limits are the ones that will be used to determine whether an action should be taken. You can then enter a job plan to provide to the work order that will be generated or preventive maintenance record, but not both. You can also provide a priority for the generated work order that may be different than what is already associated to the job plan location, etc. Notice there is a section for setting the actions to take were this meter a characteristic meter tracking something like engine oil color or leak severity. You can also view historical readings for this meter and any work orders triggered from any reading that was out of the acceptable range and above or below the actionable limits. To trigger automatic generation of a work order from a monitoring point, you will need to activate the cron task named measure point WOGEN cron task. Thank you for giving us a minute of your time to learn more about Maximo. This is Lisa Sorensen, and this has been the Maximo Minute.